YouTube, what is good? Welcome to the last episode of the Day in the Life series, man. I know some people are going to be sad. I know some people are going to be happy. And I know some people are going to be curious. But I am going to take y'all through my last trip over the road, man. It is a bittersweet feeling. And it's a scary feeling too because you know I'm about to embark on a new journey, a new path, and just go to a completely different level. But I'm taking y'all through everything, the trials, the tribulations, the ups, the downs, the failures, the wins, the successes, man. But as y'all can see right now, I am at the yard and I am about to meet with my driver that I hired that's going to be taking over my truck, which is why I'm going to stop driving. But before we get started, Drop a comment, comment TRF last ride, because this is the last ride, man. Um, you know, I'm about to stop driving full time. It is going to be a big adjustment for me because I've been driving over the road for the past two years without taking any time off, really, um, up until like the last couple of months. Also, subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified every time I drop a video. And lastly, smash the like button. Now let's get right into it, man. Shh. All right, so my guy came to Arizona. Um, you know, we just been talking over these last couple of days. He just got a CDL. So, you know, I brought him to the yard, um, talking to my mentor, showing him my truck, just, you know, going through a couple things. And, you know, this is my last trip too. So all of this is the new year. You know, new vibes, just new everything. So he came over um, from LA. Like, yeah. what, what day you get here? New Year's? New Year's yeah, Eve? New Year's, yep. New, mm -hmm. new Year's Eve. So, yeah, we've just been talking, changing some information. You know, we just yeah, three, four days. <laughs> about, yeah, so, you know, getting them, you know, getting, you know, teaching them some stuff about trucking and the real life way, the stuff that the schools don't teach. Exactly. So, you know, going through all of that right now, we're about to talk a little bit more, but I might just take y'all through my day, man. My driver um, is coming to the yard right now. We're about to get a load from um, Yuma. So, Yuma's like the border of California in uh, Arizona, and then that load's paying 7,700. So we're picking that load up. Um, well, he gonna pick it up. I'm gonna have him go pick it up by himself. And then I gotta get some stuff done on my truck. I'm gonna take y'all through that too. I gotta get some stuff done on my truck trailer, so you gonna see that. Um, and then the driver gonna come back to Phoenix. So he gonna take one truck to Yuma to pick it up, and then he gonna come back to Phoenix. And then by the time he get back to Phoenix, our truck it's gonna be done, and then we're gonna take that to Michigan. And then I'm gonna fly from Michigan back to Arizona, and then my driver's gonna be pretty much done. But I'll take y'all through a little bit more of that. Just wanted to show y'all my guy Slim came to. Right, came no stop to, to the motherfucking cast driver. Every time, all, all I'm hearing, are you saying what you gonna do, then do that, then do that, then fly back here, then go do that? Like, listen here, you know man. The life. What? He needs to be applauded, you know what I'm saying? And if y'all made this part to this video, give him a thumbs up. If you got this part to the video and ain't hit that thumbs up, what they doing? shame what they, your damn self. What they doing, man? Hey, you embarrassing, man. Hit that motherfucking thumbs up, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and watch the video beginning to the end. And every video he's giving you, he's giving you full transparency. Just right now, he just said it was a 7700? Yeah, 77. Motherfuckers don't do shit like that. Give you real life numbers like that, let you hear when he brokering deals and all that shit. Game changer, innovative motherfucker, man. He's inspiring and motivating, man. So anybody out there that he's touched on you and inspired you, listen here, man. Reciprocate it by supporting, buying the merch. Feel but support me. it by subscribing. Yes, sir. You know what I'm support it by not skipping the ads and watching video, videos from beginning to end, getting that CPM up. You know what I'm saying? Reciprocate it that way. You know what I'm saying? Because he's giving y'all the free game. So the best thing y'all could do is support him for doing it. You know what I'm saying? Give him that energy back. Cause it's gonna pay for y'all tenfold because he's gonna get y'all more understanding. I know the whole group, man. I know what he's coming up with. He got some Facts. shit for y'all, man. Facts. Stay tuned. Facts, no cap. But yeah, man, I'm gonna take y'all through the whole day, man. Day in the life. We're gonna I'm gonna make this a collection of days too. Those are gonna be more than one day. And one, I'll see y'all a little bit later, man. I wanted to learn right. And uh, besides that. So my driver just got to the yard, so pretty much giving him the instructions, telling him when he gonna pick up, where the pickup is, and things like that. So he's gonna go pick up the load, uh, and then I'm gonna stay here with Slim and my mentor, and we actually about to talk right now. And then um, I'm getting some stuff done on my truck, 
um, today too. Something done with the wheel, so um, it's gonna be a pretty eventful day. And I'm gonna make this vlog like four days long too, so probably gonna be like one of the longest vlogs uh, I ever put on my channel. Like, um, just how to trip plan, um, like when, to, you know, how to drive, when to stop, because you've pretty much just been doing all team driving. Yeah. So I'm basically just gonna show you like what the difference is between like driving solo and um, all brand new trucks. All brand new trucks, yeah, that'll be good. They'll give you like lease or finance. Just depends how you want to deal with those drivers. You understand, like nobody's gonna drive for you forever. Right. So right now uh, I'm about to get this handle fixed. Um, the low, the landing gear handle broke, so we had to get a whole new one. He about to replace it right now. So this is the new one that he got. Is this gonna be? Is this the same length as the other one that was on there? Sir, so my mom just came. What's up, mom? My mama just came uh, on the semi truck from uh, Michigan. Her and my dad, uh, they uh, they did a load, and then uh, I got slim. So um, yeah, this is my last day in the life vlog, man. I told y'all already that my last episode of this day in the life series is gonna be legendary, man. So you know, right now I'm just at the yard. I'm talking to Slim, giving him some game. My uh, my mom just came. Got my pops right there. Say what's up. What's up, dog? Yeah, so, you know, about to talk a little bit. And then my driver just pulled off. He going to pick up the load now. I got my truck right here. I got to get my truck fixed. So my truck going to go uh, over here later. So it's getting a lot of things done, man. But this is the last episode of the series, man. I'm hoping y'all enjoying it. And it's going to be long, too. It might be like 30 minutes to like an hour. I'll see y'all a little bit later, though. Do it. Like, I learned about everything with manifesting when I was in prison. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought it all, I dreamed it all. Mm -hmm. And like you said, they brainwashed yourself. I brainwashed myself mm -hmm. in prison. Got to. You know what I'm saying? Got to. What was the longest time you was on the hole? Uh, six months. Damn. Yep. 100%. You was fighting? So you was only yep. able to come out. Like, yeah, because you know, every time you get to a fight, you get more and more uh, hole time. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what was your question? One hour, you was able to come out of the cell. No, so you know it's crazy. Like, well, they so brought the shower to you. They bring the shower to you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or like in certain prisons, in certain prisons, all that. Damn. You know, you don't come out at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, because cool. then there's the whole. You know, Truck. I never um, put my pops truck on Star. This is a Western Star right here, um, 5700 XC. Um, Freightliner makes Western like Star too. Window. Freightliner makes Western Stars too. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit now, but I'm probably gonna do um, see if he let me uh, review it. Um, but you know, um, this is the inside of it. Real, real nice. This is a real nice luxury truck. So you know, I'm just showing y'all, man. But this is gonna be. A different day in the life um you know because this is the last one man so i'm showing y'all a lot you know i put my pops on there uh early i put my mom slim here so this is like legendary for everybody to be here um at this point in time i didn't know this was gonna happen and i've been telling y'all that the last episode of this season was gonna be legendary man so if y'all watching this and y'all not inspired come on man y'all gotta be inspired because i'm just showing y'all just you know 
you go back to my first episode of Day in the Life, you'll just see how much I've grown, how much my content has changed, how much, you know, just just I've evolved. And and this is only the beginning, man. I just want to show people you got to take risks. You got to take leaps of faith. You got to, you know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm showing y'all. So it is my pop truck. I really like this truck, man. Let me know how y'all like this truck. Let me know how y'all like this truck, man. Explain to him the different, like, the hours on the on a reefer unit, like he was just telling me. And there's like actually two different hours. There's like switch hours and engine hours. So hey, Mark. It's ready. when yeah, it's ready. when you have you. Uh, when you want to buy a used trailer, you want to get something that it's under ten thousand, because then you can figure out if that unit was taken care of well, or whatever maintenance needs or repairs. You can see it ahead of a time if there is a good technician. Right. And this one you can prevent what to do. It's either to get rid of this trailer or you want to repair it and have it. Mm. But if you're going to get it out on the 50000 you might pay like the top dollar for the trailer and end up having something with the issue right away. But that's how big of a difference between 10000 and 5000 So explain the 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 15, 10 to 15. No. 15. 0 to 5, all, all you have to do is just PM service. I would say even up to 8,000, you just have to do oil belts, stuff like that. Maybe the engine mounts, like, but still, most of the stuff is under the warranty. Right. So you, you should be good, you know. Okay. That way. And then... That's why most of the companies, big, big fleets, they get rid of them like around like, whenever they reach 8,000, uh -huh. it turns up like... Obviously, they have their own mechanics. They'll be like, okay, this unit is facing up to like $3,000 maintenance from now on, you know? And they'll be like, okay, mm. this is for sale. Right. I mean, like, all they do, so they'll sell they it just, before 10. All they do, they service new oil, new Freon, everything. They wash it very good. Right. They put like uh, the, the silicone, the hairy silicone uh -huh. <laughs> or something. They can patch, uh, really nice. patch it up. Yep, you go and you think you got a good unit, you drive for like two weeks, three weeks, and boom, and it starts. Damn. So what's after 10,000? What do you guys start worrying about after 10,000 hours? Uh, I mean, like if the unit is good, I mean, it's been taken care of well, probably you have to do some engine, engine mounts, uh, maybe a few pipes, because from the vibration they get cracked and you might use Freon once in a while. I mean, like there's little things, it's nothing major. So 15,000? The biggest issue, you might get with the units it's when you have to deal with the with the compressor that one is really expensive right. uh, oh compressor, compressor yeah i remember it's like four four thousand bucks i remember because my I don't pops know how much is now because the the prices went up but it used to be like three thirty five four right. it just depends on the unit how big it is uh. and then the other biggest issue you can get is like for example the thermo kings they have like the the, the, the valve gaskets those ones goes out i mean like, i've been replacing them once a year, like for a couple of them. And some of them turn out to be under the warranty and some of them not. It, it doesn't cost terribly much, it's like up to $2,000. But the problem is, it might last you again for another year only. Damn. But these carriers are better. Thermo Kings, I don't like it because I don't know. So how many hours can a reefer get from zero to what? Well, the old Thermo Kings? No, just regular. Those are good ones. They're they could last even up to. I have one. It's like thirty thousand hours. So it's up to thirty thousand. So up to. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So you said like ten thousand hours on a on a reefer would be like four hundred thousand miles on a truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's, that's a crazy yeah. equivalent. Yeah. So I mean, this is a different way to think about it. Yeah, for so sure. then like fifteen or twenty thousand is gonna be. A six. Because he was dealing mostly with the trucks, right. so I'm trying to bring. Yeah. Right. Uh, a correlation. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I can understand. Can, so, yeah, can so I can grasp it. Figure out like the severity of how bad. Yeah. So how to yeah. Gauge it. yeah. Yeah. So right now I'm about to take Slim. Um, we were about to drive down the street. So I'm doing a lot today. So I met up with my driver. My driver is on a load. Like I said, this is going to be like a four day, five day vlog because this is the last one. It's probably going to be like an hour long. So make sure y'all tune in. But this is legendary. Y'all about to see a lot of stuff. So I just been uh, with Slim for the past couple of days. You've been learning a lot. Oh uh, man, it's been overwhelming. He, this, I ain't going to lie to you. That's why I say this with the game you've been given. You can't put a price tag on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't even compute it all, and I'm trying to retain it all, but it's so much. 
But it's been a legendary three, four days doing this shit and with And it's you know different what I'm though, in part, like when you watch sure. a video and then you actually see the stuff yep. in person, it's like putting yeah. it in your head even more. Cause you watch the video, then you see it in person, it's like, yo, like. Yeah, it's even, I even go even a step further. It's different from even just doing a CDL test and just being out here and seeing everything in motion. Yeah. That, it's even different then. So yeah, of course it's way different just watching versus actually in it. Mm -hmm. But me have driven in a semi before and having my CDL, mm -hmm. I can honestly tell you it's different just even being here. So yeah. that real world shit, that game, that real world game you've been giving me with this truck and shit, bro, has been, yeah. uh, it's been tremendous to my growth. So yeah. thank you, brother. Oh yeah, no problem. Then as y'all can see, we at the yard right now. So, um, you know, we just talked about my, my Pops end up coming. He met my pops. They chopped it up. My mom here. So this is like Me this how I go way back. Though. Oh yeah, like exactly. Oh yeah, exactly. So this is how I know that this episode of this day in the life series is legendary because what's the odds? My nigga Slim here. My pops here. My Dukes here. I got yeah. all of them in the same vlog. My yeah. driver, like all of this. So I'm just showing y'all, man. Like y'all seen when I first started doing my YouTube channel and when I started doing my vlogs and you know now I'm kind of transitioning out of the truck and I'm not driving anymore so you know this is just crazy man and I'm transitioning crazy. in yeah you transitioning that's crazy in. as you yeah, transitioning yeah. out I'm transitioning yeah, in exactly so crazy you know so you know it's all air, air, you know all of this stuff is just crazy but I'm gonna take Slim uh, like down the street I'm about to let him drive with the little trailer and just you know giving him you know a different experience that he wouldn't get nowhere else because nice. you know when you get in trucking like you can get your CDL, but just knowing somebody who got a trucking company and being like, you can learn a lot of stuff that other, cause somebody else gonna have to go work for Swift for three right. years and get that experience before they can get hired by somebody. And you know, yeah. nobody really see the business in like a small company at work. Excellent. So you seeing that uh, right now. So yep, I'm having an effect. Exactly. So see y'all a little bit later. Bye, take, you know, but I take some on a, uh, on a drive. I'll see y'all a little if bit later. If y'all wanna watch that, go to my channel and check it out. Yes, sir. I got my dog Slim out here, you know, showing him what it's like. Just, you know, just, you know, planting that seed, showing him, yep, with a trailer on the back. So yeah. I just took him on a, a ride around the corner so he could see what it feel like because he just got a CDL. In the real um, world, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, yeah, so. And then I'm learning from somebody who's been doing it for like years and like is, is, is hitting differently coming from you versus oh, yeah. the instructor, you know? Exactly, so. facts. So he's about to um, swap out my uh, steer tires, uh, switch them around uh, because um, it has some problems with the alignment, so getting them switched out right now. That's uh, how you on the other side of this one. I need you. Fine, he just had it up right now. See, it's feathering. It's definitely his alignment. Because you can run your tire, your hand flat. You can't feel the the stick going that way, but you can feel it coming back. Uh -huh. All right, so right now I'm at the Freightliner dealership, I'm actually buying some parts uh, for my truck so I can get it, uh, so I can get these parts replaced. Um, I had two shocks that were leaking, um, some bushings that were wore and then also two air valves that I had to replace. Uh, so I'm here now picking it up. I've been with Slim all day. I've been with my mom and my pops because I haven't seen them since I moved out to Phoenix. And then Slim came from LA to Phoenix. So I've been with him. It's like 7.30 PM right now. So I'm here now, man. Um, and my driver is actually almost back in Phoenix from picking up the load. So me and my driver are actually going to leave uh, tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, man, it's been a crazy, crazy day. So picking up parts now, and I'll see y'all a little bit later. Issues to the rear. And those are the two grain valves. Let's take this around the corner to the cashier to set up. YouTube, what is good? I am at the yard. It is currently the next day. Yesterday, y'all saw I was a slim, my mom, my pops, um, just getting some things done. Right now, uh, I'm at the yard, about to take off. We already got a load, we just getting the steer uh, shocks replaced because the steer shocks are uh, actually leaking. I'm about to show you right These are the steer shocks right here. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's leaking really bad. So, I bought some new ones yesterday um, at the dealership, as y'all saw. So right now, I'm um, having a, um, the company mechanic uh, replace them, uh, which shouldn't take too long. And then once you replace them, um, we're pretty much gonna take off. And then here's the other uh, steer shock right here. So you wanna replace both shocks. 
So right now I am in the truck, um, just got everything situated and fixed. Now we are about to head um, on the road. I'm about to drive with him up until Michigan. It's probably gonna take two days. Just wanna see how he drive, just see how my other driver, driver trained him because he was training with my other driver for about three weeks. So I'm just here pretty much like overshadowing. So I'm not gonna do too much driving and you know, I'm not gonna do too much like uh, micromanaging. I just wanna see for myself and then that's pretty much it. So I'm getting everything situated right now. And we are about to hit the road to Michigan. So as you can see, my guy um, is right there. We just stopped to get fuel. So he's about to fuel the truck right now. But this is a different type of day in the life vlog because I'm not gonna be doing much driving. Um, and I'm really just in the truck because I wanted to see how good he was. And he's actually a really, really good driver. You know, this is just another day in the life, man. This is what I wanna show people. I wanna show people my whole entire transformation. So. If you go back to my original video on YouTube, you'll see that I started out just driving. And now I'm on my last episode of this Day in the Life series and I'm going from driving to just overseeing. And this driver is really, really good. I knew he was good, but he's even better than I expected, which gives me like confidence and which like gives me faith in him. So, you know, I just want to bring something different to all of these, um, thank you. I just want to bring something different to all of these episodes, you know, like if you watch every episode, no episode is the same. So, you know, I wasn't even planning on recording this, uh, but I was like, you know, I got to go out with a bang for the last episode. So that's why I'm making uh, these videos like over multiple days, because um, I don't I think it may be like one day in a life vlog where I, I did multiple days but this isn't only multiple days it's my last trip it's you know slim was in here my parents was in here my driver like so this is like a really really monumental vlog man so if you made it to this part of the vlog I want you to comment TRF um, you know comment TRF if you've made it to this part of the vlog but it's gonna be a lot longer than this. Probably gonna make this vlog like an hour long just because it's the last one. So like I said, I wanna go out with a bang. But I'm about to get some snacks and stuff and I will see y'all a little bit later, man. Just wanted to update y'all.
right, currently it is 11:30 p.m. On January 4th. We just stopped. We are currently um in Vega, Texas, um like 18 hours away from uh Michigan. So stopping right now um to go to sleep, and then wake up in a few hours. Um, start driving, but today was a pretty smooth day. Um, so yeah, about to go to sleep now. It's late tired been up all day um but yeah just updating y'all on the progress and uh, i'll see y'all tomorrow man youtube what is good it is the next day uh, it is currently let's see 4 26 a.m and it is uh what january 4th i believe january 5th man this year going by quick already um so uh, my driver drove pretty much 11 hours yesterday. Um, I'm not doing too much driving because we're not really team driving, but um, I'm about to drive for like two, three hours just so we can get to Michigan a little bit early and a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, I've just been watching him, you know, just showing him a little bit of things and uh, stuff like that. So he's actually a really, really good driver. So my other driver trained him really well, which makes me extremely happy. And, you know, it just, gives me um, even more confidence for the future when I hire other drivers I know that I can have my um, first driver or even uh, him eventually train any new driver that I bring on so now I'm not gonna have to do any hands-on training so what I'm just trying to show people is how I'm strategically like crafting and building my own business you know with my you know by myself first you know I'm hiring these drivers I'm training these drivers I'm finding these drivers I'm getting these trucks I'm learning all of these things and then as I'm learning I'm also taking you all along so I just want people to understand like what it takes and sometimes you can't go the the, the regular route and the regular route sometimes is you know what you hear or what you see so you have to be creative in your own way and do this stuff in your own way so I never saw anybody do what I'm doing um, so, you know, now that I'm doing it, I'm documenting and taking people along, it's inspiring, it's motivating, you know, all of the above. So, yeah, man, so what I'm about to do now, um, I'm about to uh, do a little point of view driving, um, you know, get some point of view footage in this vlog, and um, I'm about to drive for like four to five hours, and then once I'm done driving, uh, my driver's gonna take over, and we're about 18 hours, I can show y'all right now, we're about 18 hours away. Um, from Michigan. You can see that. So 18 hours and 22 minutes. So, yeah, man, but I told y'all that this vlog is going to be really long. So if you made it to this part of the video, um, comment TRF um, last, last trip or TRF last ride or just TRF man just drop something in the comments right now if you're watching if you made it this far and you ain't smashed the like button what are you doing man what are you doing but I see you on the minute man with a little bit of point of view footage
but yeah, it's been pretty like a smooth ride. The weather's been good, it hasn't been a lot of traffic. But the sun just came up about an hour ago. Um, yeah, so we was in Vega, Texas earlier, uh, and now we're in Oklahoma City, um, Oklahoma. So making good progress, probably about like 14 and a half hours away from Michigan. So yeah, it's saying we get there around uh, midnight um, and the delivery is at 6 a.m. So progress that we're making is really, really good. Um, and we'll, we'll definitely make it for the delivery for sure. Um, but yeah, about to pull up to like a pilot or a flying J. It's like two miles away. Then put some fuel on the truck. We'll go inside, get some snacks. Um, probably edit some content. And then just um, switch over and then let him drive. I hate the most is like um, merging traffic when it's like um, merging and you got to watch out for this lane and you know that, that could be real dangerous for real but anything that has to do with like merging but it's about making sure you look in and you know I'm saying being patient and taking your time for real that's what it's all about and it is freezing out here it's freezing oh my god the windows while I wait for the uh, truck to fuel the window not that bad actually it's actually pretty clean but still clean it a little bit
see this Biden dude there. <laughs> if you made it to this part of the video, man, comment Biden did that. <laughs> if you made it to this part of the video, comment Biden did that. <laughs> uh, so it stopped. I'm at $237 on six and seven gallons. stuff like this is really easy to park because no you know everybody's on the road and everybody left um so i'm about to park somewhere right here People so weird, bro. God, he was close to me. I didn't even see this dude right here. Oh my God. It is winter time. It is cold as hell out here in Oklahoma right now. It's probably like 20 degrees. That's what it feel like. Just holding this camera, my phone is, I mean, my hands are cold. Uh, yeah, I was right, oh, 30 degrees out here. But yeah, I just fueled up the truck. I just reserved the shower, so I'm walking into the uh, Flying J right now so I can go take a shower. And then after I get out the shower, 
Uh, my driver's gonna take over. He's gonna do a full shift. He's gonna do a full 11 hours. And then uh, after he do his uh, 11 hours, then I'm gonna finish the trip up, which is probably gonna be like two, two, three hours left. Like I said, I'm, I just wanted to get in the truck and just shadow him, see what his habits were, see how he drives, and also just to see how my other driver trained him. But like I said, I'm, I'm real happy with him. Um, you know, I'm probably gonna end up working with him for like a long time. You know, I'm gonna treat him good, pay him good, and you know, just be, you know, transparent, authentic with him. So definitely made a good decision, man. But yeah, about to go inside, take the shower, and um, I'll see y'all a little bit later. All right, so I got shower number nine. So see it right there, shower now, 4568, so. 40, uh, Same thing, same setup, pretty much every single. YouTube, what is good? We are currently in um, Springfield, Missouri. If you watch my vlogs often, then you will know um, exactly where I'm at. I'm going to one of my favorite food trucks um, where I go all the time where I come here. Um, we're about like, let's see, we're about like 10 hours away from uh, Michigan. So we're gonna get to Michigan um, around like, maybe like 3, 4 a.m. It's currently, 3 p.m. It's currently 3 p.m. So we're gonna get to Michigan around from yeah, like 4 a.m. But yeah, man, just bringing y'all along, showing y'all different stuff. I'm not even sure how long this vlog is gonna be, but I know this vlog gonna be long because I'm putting multiple days in one. And this is the first time I ever really did something like this. And then it's also the last episode of this um of this series so i think this is probably gonna be my favorite vlog honestly i'm not even gonna lie to you i think this is probably gonna be one of my favorite uh vlogs just because of you know how i did it and then just uh just the meaning behind it like my mom was in here my pops was in here slim was in here my new driver was in here like it's my last you know it's my last road trip like you know what i'm saying so this is just gonna be monumental but yeah if you watch my vlogs then you know exactly where i'm at because I probably put them on my, I probably put this uh, food truck on my channel like three, four times. I mean, cause I always come here. Um, this is right on I-44 in uh, Springfield, Missouri at um, Flying J. Flying J Pilot, same shit.
the door. I'm going to door number nine right now. So I'm gonna take y'all through that whole entire process. It's so cold outside right now, man. It is so cold. Shit. I need to get back to Arizona immediately. I need to get back to Arizona immediately. YouTube, what is good? It is currently 10.38 a.m. January 6th. As you can see, I am getting unloaded while I was, um, while I was, uh, backing in, the camera actually died, so I didn't get to, I didn't get to record the full process of backing in, but I'm at Goran Food Service right now, um, Taking a long time actually because we got here at like 6 30 6 40 and it's 10 30 so been here for like four hours um so just waiting on him to finish up and then uh, we gonna be out of here but yeah man i literally took y'all through what like a four day process man from what january 2nd or january 3rd all the way up until january 6th so this was a pretty pretty long vlog so Right now, it's about to happen. Um, I'm about to have my homie uh, that y'all see all the time. He about to come pick me up because I am like, I'm in Michigan. So I'm like 30 minutes away from my crib. So he about to scoop me and he gonna take me home. My bad, my bad, I'm very tired. Um, he about to come scoop me up from here and he gonna take me back to my crib and then I'll probably finish the vlog um, like once he pick me up and then take me home and drop me off and stuff. But yeah, man, I just wanted to take y'all on the whole entire, you know, trip and make this last little um, day in a life vlog something, you know, something to remember, man. Even when I look back at this shit, it's going to be like, yo, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Shit is crazy. Um, but yeah, man, if you made it this far, comment TRF last ride. TRF last ride, because this is the last one, man. I'll see y'all a little bit later. YouTube, what is good? Here with my guy. Y'all done seen him a million times already. Um, but yeah, he just scooped me from um, the delivery. So now I'm just letting my driver go on his own now. Um, I was in the truck with him. 
You know, I just saw how he was, you know, I just wanted to see his habits, you know, see how he drove, just see some things, you know, and then also give him some, um, you know, just give him some pointers, you know, and, you know, because right now I'm, I'm in the beginning of building my business. So I want to be as hands on as possible and just, you know, just, just really craft my business, you know, hands on. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing. That's what a lot of people have to understand is that sometimes in the beginning, you're going to have to do a lot of things hands on. And, you know, as time go on, you're going to be able to be a little more hands off. But right now, this is what I'm trying to show people. And this is what I'm trying to, you know, just just inspire, you know, that you can just build something from the ground up. Because, you know, if you go look at my first, you know, YouTube video um, that I put up versus this last, you know, day in the life vlog, you'll see a lot of growth. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to go to the crib right now. Um, and I'm staying in Michigan for like two days. So I'm about to, you know, visit family, friends, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm about to just spend a couple days here. But once I get to uh, the crib, I'm going to end this vlog. And, you know, I appreciate anybody that watched this vlog all the way into the end because I know this is probably the longest vlog I ever put up. It's definitely going to be like an hour for sure, maybe a little bit longer than an hour. I um, mean, then I had so many different people in here. Got my homie in here, had my pops in here. Slim, my mom, uh, my mentor, so my my new driver, so you know what I'm saying. This is a legendary uh, day in the life vlog, and it was over a collection of days. Like I think I started just like January second or third, one of them days. I don't know. I, don't know it's, I be getting lost in the days, but I'll see y'all in a minute. YouTube, it is the end of the day in the life series, man. It has been a crazy, crazy journey. Um, it's been a lot of good vlogs. And if you just watch vlog one through vlog 30, you will see the progression of the vlogs. Like the first 10 vlogs were kind of scattered. They were kind of inconsistent. They were short. They didn't have an intro. And then 10 to 20, I got a new computer. Um, my content got better. I got more comfortable with the camera. And then 20 to 30, was just like flawless. Like I, I got, you know, more creative with it. I got way more comfortable. Like I did, you know, different things. So, you know, if you've been watching all of these Day in the Life vlogs and you will really understand what I'm saying. And if you haven't watched all of Day in the Life vlogs, then go back. I made a whole entire playlist to where you can just watch them in order. And you know what I'm saying? I just want to really just show people, man, like and, and just take people along with this journey and document. And it's not even for other people. I got a little selfishness to me too now because, and not in a bad way, you know what I'm saying? Because I watch my own videos and I look back at my old videos like, wow, I've really grown a lot. And if you uh, watch my videos all the time, then you know where I'm at. I'm back home in Michigan at my mom's house where I started doing my day in life. I was actually in the kitchen where I was actually down there I was down there and I was walking like YouTube was good I'm about to start making videos and I walked out into the garage and I got in my car if you watch my videos and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you don't just go look at the first episode um, of the day in a life series but yeah man it's, it's this is you know the end of the day in a life series and then I'm gonna make another video explaining exactly what, I'm, what my plans are after and just why I'm, I don't want to drive anymore and just how I plan to grow from not having to drive anymore um, full time. And hopefully I don't have to start this day in the life series up again. But I understand that, you know, there's going to be some times where I may have to drive and, you know, sometimes where I may want to drive and just grab a quick load just to make a couple of dollars and stuff like that. But when it comes to full time over the road every single day, three weeks, four, like at a time, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that anymore because I just wanna elevate and take this to another level and just touch more people, inspire more people, um, learn more information, connect with more people and things like that, man. So if you made it to the end of this vlog, you made it to the end of the Day in the Life series, man. I just really wanna say thank you because it's the people watching and the people interacting and the people that's inspired and motivated and actually putting this stuff to action that's motivating me and inspiring me to do this because there was a lot of times where i wanted to quit there's a lot of times where i was kind of nervous and things like that so to know that people are inspired by what i'm doing and they're learning from what i'm doing it just makes me want to go even harder and that's why i 
accomplish what I accomplished as far as not driving anymore. Because now that I'm not driving anymore, I can really become that teacher, really become that influencer, really become that figure that can lead people to the correct path because that's what I was looking for when I was, you know, young. So again, man, if you made it to the end, comment TRF last ride. Make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Get this in the YouTube algorithm. And then lastly, man, just subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified every time I drop a video and just, you know, stay updated on my content. I'll see you on the next one, man. Shh.